Ryan Davis, Home Improved Man. Uh, today we're going to be rebuilding a light. So this, as you can see, pretty nice. Had two bulbs in the top. Two bulbs were of this basic setup. The uh, ring was sandwiched, or, or the, this uh, bracket was sandwiched between the bulb and the ring. The wire went up through uh, the ring, came out the top. Chain attached here, goes up to the ceiling. Wire winds its way through the chain up to the power. Now, the chain was a little dingy, not, not bad enough that, that it really needed replacing, but the wire was unsafe. The wire uh, was painted. It looked like there was some tape underneath the paint. It was really an unsafe situation. So we're going to put in brand new wire. We're going to put in new uh, brackets. This is the one of the old rings with the, 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 the threaded pipe that goes through it. The, the, the wire runs up to the top. This is the new existing, or the, the uh, replaces the, the old one. This is our, our, our new socket. We have chain, we have new wire, and we have new canopies that are going to go up on the ceiling. Now, this light isn't super heavy. We could have run from the two points across in, into one, had one anchor. It's still gonna be lighter than a ceiling fan. But you'll see in the place that it's going, the it's offset from the table. And so we're going to run two parallel chains up to the top and we'll put in a, uh, a ceiling, a circular uh, ceiling mount in order to attach it. We'll run the wire up one chain Run it, run it across the top, run wire, one wire across the top to meet the other wire, then the two wires will run up the single chain up to the electrical source. So, to begin, we will take our outlet here, or our socket here, and the socket will come apart, and inside, you will see this basic setup. So we've got two different uh, screws, and the one screw uh, goes to the that little uh, uh, flap of metal in the center. The other screw goes onto the threads. The threads completes the circuit. The threads are part of the circuit. And then we'll run the wire up through this the hole on the top, put it back, all back together, like so. Now, with this outlet here, it comes apart. And so as it comes apart, you can see that we have the two screws on either side. And so we'll need to loosen those up. You'll also notice that the white screw, the, the silver colored screw, uh, that one, is it obvious? Well, okay, you can see it there. So if you look over here, you can see that the, where it attaches is it goes into the, the uh, silver colored metal and that goes onto the threads. On the brass colored side, if you can see through there, it connects to that little tab sticking up, at the, up in the middle. And so the brass colored screw, that's our hot, that's the black wire, and the silver colored screw or white colored screw, that's our white. Now, on this wire that we're using, it is here. We don't have your typical black or white. What we have is that one, one side, one of these wires is smooth and the other one has some ribs on it. And the ribs is going to be our, what, what, take the place of our white. It's gonna be our neutral. So that's gonna go onto the white screw. The smooth side is going to go onto the brass colored screw or what would normally be the black wire. Having a pair of uh, wire strippers makes this job a whole lot easier. As you are stripping the wires, you'll notice that there are uh, different size gaps, and there's numbers next to them. 
And if you know the number of your wire, you can just go to it. Or what you can do is start at a big one and start to work your way down until you find the, the right distance or the, or the right size hole. You put it on, twist it a little bit, and then you'll see that the wire will then come, or the, the coating, the rubber housing will then come free. And so in this case, we're working with the uh, 14 or 16, need a little more than that. I didn't cut off enough on the first one. I was, I was just testing it out. I should have cut off a little more. Now I needed to call, cut off a fair amount because we are wrapping it around the screw. Some of the ways in which you attach a fixture, you'll stick that into a, a receptacle. In this case, we're wrapping it around. You wanna make sure that you go through the top before you attach it to the sides. And the sides are here, there we go. And when you wrap, you wanna wrap in the direction that the screw is going to turn so that as the screw turns, it pulls the, the, the wire tightly around it. I'll make sure that I get the right one. Where's the, okay, so that one is the ribbed. That ribbed is going on the white. There we go. You can use a hand screw or a driver. What is very important is that you make sure it is tight, that the wire is not gonna come loose. It's not that the screw is tight, it's that the wire is tight. Then we do the same thing on the other side. Put a little bend, put a little bend in our wire so they can wrap, wrap around the screw. And then tighten it. It's tight. Put the housing back onto it, put it back in place. And you'll notice on the housing that there's a section where the cardboard is cut out. And you'll notice on the, the, sc the screw that there's a little uh, tab that sticks out on two sides. And so that tab that sticks out is going to go where the cutout on the cardboard is. It should be a fairly snug fit. And then we slide this into place. And I believe it just presses down and holds there with a bit of friction. Like so. And we're done. Now, on the other end of my wire, I have a plug. Now that plug is not necessary for what we're doing. As you can tell, it came from some other light but it's still in good shape. The plastic that wraps that, that protects the, the, the wire is good. I'm just gonna cut that off. But I'm, I'm going to cut it off leaving a lot of extra just because I'd rather, if you cut it too short, if you cut it too short and you end up having to start all over again, it's very frustrating. Believe me, I know. And so we're gonna always have a little more than what we think we need. And so now we take all our wire, we run it up through the, our slot. Now there are two pieces that need to go in here and they are both here. One is the threaded rod and the other is our ring. These come in from the top. We could have attached this first, of course, but we're going to do it second. Threaded rod goes down. Our ring goes down. And then we run the threaded rod onto the socket, give it quite a few turns to make sure that it's not going to come out at some later date. And then we run our ring, turning it 
onto that threaded rod. I want to get the bracket of the light sandwiched securely between the ring and the socket. And that's tight. The next step is to run the chain around the wire. Now, I've got a lot of wire here. I, I figure that I'm gonna have around two and a half feet on the short side and three feet on the long side. I'm gonna cut this to about four feet so that I know that I have plenty. Uh, the the uh, electrical source, actually I'm gonna go four and a half just because. Like I said, better too much than too little. Now for the chain, here we have about three feet of chain. The chain I don't need to be as long as the wire. And then to run the chain through the wire, we just loop it back and forth. The chain or the, the wire gets looped back and forth. Allow the, the chain to get loose so that you make sure that you're not twisting the chain in any weird shape as you run it through. So this will be the side that is going to connect to the electrical box. And I know that because I'm running the, the chain across the wire or the chain through the wire. If by some chance I determine that at a later date that I need to do it uh, on the other side, I can, but I'm just gonna have to uh, remove the wire from the center of the chain. And then the last step here is to connect this link in the chain to the ring on the bottom. Now some of the kits, I'm down here, hi. Uh, some of the kits that you buy, if you buy a, a kit that has a chain, it's gonna have a link that you can open and close with a, a threaded nut. Uh, I don't have that, so I have to do this the old fashioned way with a little bit of muscle and effort. I have to open up the link. And it's easier to twist it open than to pull the two sides apart. But once I twist it open, I'm gonna take it apart to show you like that, and then I can just close it the same way. So I need to make sure that both the last link of the chain, that the wire runs through it, and that it runs, then connects onto the ring on the top of the light. Here we go. One full length, lots of chain left, left over, lots of cord left over, and so I, once I put it in place, I have uh, created a little insurance that I won't run out of either. Now, the other side's gonna be a little bit different. On the other side, uh, the wire, as I said, is not gonna run it through the chain. I'm gonna run it across the back here and then connect it up over to this one, run it through the chain. I could splice the wires together up top here and have just one wire going up the chain, but that's gonna look ugly. And so I'm going to run the two wires up the chain and then connect the two wires to the light up at the top. And the, the fewer uh, wire nuts and, and wire connections that you have, the safer the whole setup is. I'm gonna do one thing a little bit differently on this round. I'll still be able to take care of it on the other side, but this has a little set screw, you can see, and that's designed to hold the threaded rod in place. And so before I assemble this whole piece, I'm gonna put that set, the, the th threaded rod on here and the set screw, tighten it down uh, so that it's gonna be secure. Now it is still important that I do the other side as well, um, but I, it occurred to me as I was looking at everything, it's gonna be easier to do it unattached to the, light, to the lampshade than it will be attached.
All right, so we have the, the threaded rod. We throw it in a handful of turns to make sure it's fully set inside of it. And then we just tighten down that set screw. And that ain't going anywhere. And so we still have to run the wire up through the hole. So part of this is the same, part of it's different. We run the wire up through the hole. We put the ring on the wire, so the, wa the wire comes out of the top of the ring. We tighten down the ring onto the socket, onto the, yeah, the light socket. This wire is going to run across the back. I'm going to use, I'm going to put some uh, little uh, hooks on place to hold it down there against the light, against the, the back here, so it doesn't hang across the middle, which would be very ugly. We don't do ugly around here. And then I take this end of the wire and I thread it following the existing wire on this other chain. A little more tedious. In fact, now that I'm looking at it, it probably would have been better if I had threaded them both at the same time. But, you know, here we are. Make sure that it's free. Make sure that I have enough wire that I can still connect it. Yep. And then I come back again to my threading. Good. The wire's a little twisted in certain spots, but now that it's fully aligned, and I need to put a little more space there. What's important is that the two wires follow each other. That there's no point where the wire, one wire goes on the outside of the link and the other one goes on the inside of the link because it'll make, the, it'll start to bite down and create a little bit of tension in there. And remember that the, the, the chain is going to find its own, uh, I guess you could say, the, the, weight, the weight of the light is going to pull the chain straight, and then the, the, if you've got a little bit of looseness, a little bit of play in the wire, it'll find where it wants to go. Now we do have to attach the other chain. The other chain, of course, attaches to this ring and doesn't run through the wire. So these are the clips that I'm going to use. The red is just the backing of the tape so that you can find it. It'll, it'll end up laying down clear. You could probably skip it, but I want to make sure that the, the wire is going to stay in place over here on the side. You can see how it is without the tape on it. It's going to be pretty invisible. There we go. Now we're ready to mount it. So the light has been installed. And of course you see the cords coming down the one side.